Hi, I'm Emily Epp, Public Information Officer with the Caribou Regional District. Hi, I'm Jessica Mack, I'm a Fire Information Officer for the Caribou Fire Center. This is an update for August the 12th. And to start, Jess is going to give us a bit of an update on the recent weather and how that's impacted wildfires. Yeah, so yesterday we did see some precipitation east of the Fraser in almost all of our weather stations. And so what that means, it will give some relief in fire behavior. And we hope that crews will be able to make some further containment on those fires in those areas. However, we ha did not see any rain west of the Fraser. So with the uh, rain and the positive news for the east of the Fraser, that has meant that the Houseman Road evacuation order has been able to be downgraded to an alert. So that is in the area north of Horse Lake and west of 100 Mile House. That order impacted 57 properties and now that it's back to alert, those residents can return home, which is some good news for today. Jess, can you also give us a bit of an update on the Narcosi Creek fire? Yeah, so that fire is 3,100 hectares in size. There are 104 firefighters, five aircraft, and 10 pieces of heavy equipment on site today. Crews did work out throughout the night last night, and the fire is moving currently in a southeast direction, and that is where crews are focusing their efforts on today. So with that fire moving in a southeasterly direction, that is part. That is the reason why uh, there was an expanded alert in that area yesterday, as well as an evacuation order uh, last night in the Narcosley Creek area. So one important thing to note is that when we there was an error in our mapping that showed some areas on alert. Uh, east of the Fraser River, but that was incorrect. So the expanded alert is only on the west side of the Fraser River in the Narcosley area, and uh, the evacuation order there impacts about 33 properties. So for further updates on other wildfires of note or evacuation alerts or orders, please visit the Care Regional District website or bcwildfire.ca. Thank you. Thanks.